Hello, everyone. It is your host, Jen, with P40 Ministries Podcast. And today, we are going to be starting in Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 24. And this is the beginning of the Christmas story. And since today is Thursday, we will be reading out of the New Testament. Join us tomorrow so that we can continue with the Old Testament in Genesis. But for now, grab your Bible and let's read along with Matthew 1, verses 18 through 24. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was like this. For after his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not willing to make her a public example, intended to put her away secretly. But when he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take yourself to Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She shall give birth to a son. You shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who shall save his people from their sins. Now all of this has happened, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted, God with us. Joseph arose from his sleep, and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took his wife to himself. And he didn't know her sexually until she had given birth to her firstborn son, and he named him Jesus. So if you took a listen to the podcast on Tuesday, you would have heard about the genealogy of Joseph, who was considered to be Jesus's earthly father. Now, we don't believe that Jesus is real father was Joseph. We believe that Jesus was born of the Holy Spirit and God the Father is Jesus's true father and Joseph is more like Jesus's adopted dad in a sense. Looking at verse 18, we see that Mary, Jesus's mother, earthly mother, was engaged to Joseph, but they were just engaged. They were not married yet. And now Mary was pregnant with Jesus, but Joseph, realizing that she is now pregnant, obviously thinks that, uh uh-oh, my girlfriend, soon-to-be wife, is cheating on me. (laughs) But since he was a righteous person, as it says right here, he didn't want to shame her publicly. So he was just thinking in his mind, like, oh, this kind of sucks, like, I'm just, I'm just going to do away with Mary silently. I'm not going to make a big scene about it. I'll just break things off with her and that will be that. But then the angel appears to Joseph in a dream and says, you know, chill out. This is of the Holy Spirit. This is prophesied about in Isaiah. And you already know the prophets because you are a Jew. You study them. You know all about the virgin giving birth to a baby. And Mary is that chosen virgin. And she is going to call him Emmanuel, which is being interpreted, God is with us. So at this point, Joseph listens to the angel. He rises from his sleep. He's like, oh, wow, you know, Mary is the chosen virgin to bring forth a child. So he takes her as his wife, but he doesn't know her as the Bible. It's the Bible's way of saying he did not have sex with her. And he didn't know her until she gave birth to Jesus. One thing I do want to do is I want to go back and read that prophecy. It says here in Matthew 1, verses 23, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall give birth to a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. And that is Matthew 1, verse 23. So let's go all the way back to Isaiah and take a look at that particular prophecy. prophecy in Isaiah. So if you go all the way back to the Old Testament in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, what is happening here is King Ahaz, who happens to be also of the line of Joseph, he is one of the kings of Israel at this point and one of Joseph's ancestors. 
And God basically tells King Ahaz at this point, ask me for a sign, like ask me to do anything and I'll do it for you. I'm going to prove to you that I am God. But then in verse 12, it says, Ahaz says, I will not ask, neither will I tempt Yahweh, which is the Jewish word for God. So verse 13, he said, listen now, house of David, is it not enough for you to try the patience of men that you will try the patience of my God also? And this is Isaiah talking. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin will conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. So that's verses 12, 13, and 14 of Isaiah chapter 7. And basically in Isaiah, it has already been prophesied that a virgin will someday conceive and give birth to Emmanuel. Christians believe that Jesus himself was God and Emmanuel means God with us. And so since that name means God with us, that means that Jesus was with us. And I just find that so fascinating that God was physically here with us. So that is a breakdown of Matthew chapter one. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Make sure to check out P40 Ministries website and make sure to follow the podcast so you'll never miss one. All right. Happy listening. God bless. 